Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of inequalities, specifically how we can write inequalities from problem situations, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a pretty simple problem here. Anthony is saving up his allowance to buy a new PS5 game. He already has $25, so he's starting with some money. And then he gets $5 each week, so that's his allowance. And then we need to write an inequality, so that means we're going to be using greater than, maybe greater than or equal to, less than, or maybe less than or equal to, uh, to show how many weeks, so there's going to be our variable right there, W. It will take until he can buy, and that's how much the game costs, $73, not including tax. All right, so how do we turn this into an inequality? Well, let's look for a few terms. So first, let's look to see what kind of constants we have. So constants are fixed values, numbers that aren't necessarily changing, numbers that they just give to us. A constant is a fixed value. So this is a constant, right? So he starts with $25 each week, and we also have this $73 game. So that is another constant. So those two are going to be constant for us. We're going to look to see if we have a coefficient. And we do actually have a coefficient. This is a multiplier. So this is going to be something that we're going to multiply by our variable which is our unknown. So these are the terms we're going to be looking for here. So maybe we find the variable first. So the variable here is going to be W, and they already tell us what that's going to stand for, weeks. We don't know how many weeks it's going to take for him to get $73, but we do know he gets $5 a week. So that is our coefficient. So $5 every single week so starting at week zero, right, if we wanted to, to make a little table, right, we could do this. We could say weeks, and we could put money right here. So we can say week zero. How much is he starting with? Well, we've got this constant of 25. So that's the starting. We're not starting at zero. At week zero, we're starting 25. Now at week one, we're adding five. So that's going to be our plus five right here. Week two, we're going to get 35. Week three, we're going to get 40. So you see that once we get past that week zero, it's just going to be plus five, plus five, plus five. But you notice this question is not asking us how many weeks it will take. It's asking us to write an inequality. So let's put all of these together in an inequality. So we're going to start with our coefficient and variable because we're going to try to keep this as much as possible in uh, the slope-intercept form or something similar to the slow slope-intercept form, right? So y equals mx plus b. That's our slope-intercept form. That's a very common form. So let's just use this right here. So let's just uh, try to find our coefficient and our constant first. So our coefficient is 5 because we are multiplying $5 for every single week. So we're just going to put that as 5w. So we've got the beginning of our uh, inequality here, so 5w, but now we need to see what is our constant. So in the slope-intercept form, that's b, right? That's our y-intercept. So we just need the constant. What is he starting with? Well, he's starting with $25. So when we're writing the inequality, we don't necessarily need to put the dollar signs. We'll just know that the 5 is $5, the 25 is $25. So we're going to multiply the 5 times the number of weeks it needs. We're going to make sure we add the starting money of $25. And we need to get to 73, but not exactly. We need to get greater than 73 or we can actually equal 73. We know that we're not going to be able to get a multiple of 5 up there. But that's our inequality here because we're going to take our starting $25, $5 a week, and we're going to say greater than or equal to 73. 